want you guys to be taking a look at a Windows 11 fix you should do immediately, in my opinion, and that is removing the Bing search from Windows 11. Now, Microsoft don't make things easy. These basic tasks should be a simple case of going in and uninstalling the application if you don't want it. But Microsoft don't want to make things too easy for you. If you go into the installed apps, you would think you would be able to just quickly click on the three dots and uninstall Microsoft Bing Search from your Windows system. But you can see it's grayed out and they don't allow you to do it. And this is frustrating for a lot of people. Now you can physically remove it. Microsoft even offer a piece of code that you can use to uninstall the package. And I'll show you that in this video. You can see inside the search area, all the web search comes up as well. And this can be disabled, but obviously Microsoft want you to jump through tons of hoops to get all of this off the system. So a quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Do your own research and do this at your own risk. And this video doesn't break any community guidelines. It's not dangerous to you or your computer. So let's get started. First place we're going to go is into the settings panel. Go to privacy and security. And from here, we're going to click on search. Inside the search box here, you want to look for search my accounts. Inside here, you'll see there's two areas that we need to take care of. Microsoft account, allow Windows search to provide results for apps and services. When you're signed in with your personal account, turn that off. And the other one is to toggle the same one off if you're signing from your work or school account. So we want to turn that off as well. Now what we're going to do is go to the search box in Windows and we're going to search for RegEdit. So let's go ahead and type RegEdit right here and open up the registry editor. Once we've opened up the registry editor, say yes to the user account control. And from here, we're going to navigate to this location. So come down and go to H key current user. Then we're going to come down to software. So click on software and open that one up there. Now we're going to go down to where it says Microsoft. So click on Microsoft and open that up. Let me just expand this a little bit so we can see a bit clearer. So we're going to come down all the way down to where it says Windows. So scroll right down, look for Windows and open that up there. Go to current version. So open up current version. And once we've got this open, what we want to do is come all the way down and look for search. And once we're inside search, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new key because we need to turn off the feature that we don't want to use. And in this case, it's going to be Bing search. So what we need to do is right click, go new, D word 32 bit value. Now we need to give that key a name. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call this Bing search enabled. So let's go ahead and type this out here and just call this enabled all capital letters like so at the beginning. And once we've done this, we need to give this a data value of zero and this will turn it off. Let me expand this a little bit so you can see it there. And this will turn off that web search in the search box there. Just leave that as zero and that will disable that feature. It just means when you're searching, it's not going to show any web results in your search box. It will disable that feature. And that is for Windows Home and Pro editions or any other edition of Windows. Now we're on a Windows 11 Pro edition PC here. So if you're on Windows 11 Pro, that means you get access to the group policy editor and you can do this in group policy. You can't do this on home editions. That's why I showed you the registry way. But if you've got a pro edition of Windows, you might want to use this method because it's a lot easier. So search for Group Policy Editor, go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, and then go down to where it says Windows Components. Open this one up right here, and then come all the way down. And what you're looking for here is the search feature. So let's go search. And there's three options in here that we need to enable and this is always my go-to method for tweaking Windows because it's built into Windows and it's safe and it's the best way to do it. So do not allow web search is the first one. If you enable this feature, it removes the option to search via the web. So Microsoft allow you to turn it off via this method, but they don't make it easy for you to turn it off as a home user. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand it. Why don't they just let you uninstall it? 
but just set this to enable and then click OK and you should be good to go there. Now there's a couple of other ones here which is don't search the web or display web search results in the search. You can do that here as well. And there's another one underneath it as well that you can enable as well. So let me just quickly enable this feature. And these won't perform uh, any web searches in your search results. So let's do that here. And there's one more just underneath that. I don't think you have to do this one, but we might as well do it on metered connections, just in case you're on a, over a metered connection, you might as well just enable that feature. And it will stop that. And it will speed up your search as well by just disabling those, well, enabling those to disable those, if that makes sense. So that is the Group Policy Editor method for Windows 11 Pro and Windows 10 Pro editions of Windows. Now let's deal with Edge itself. If you use Edge, you might want to turn that feature off as well. Go to the three dots and you want to come down to the settings panel right here. So go settings. And then on the left hand side, you want to go to privacy search and services. Then you want to look for search and connected experiences. This has been moved to a new location, which is in here. Address bar and search is what you need to click on. And we're going to change the Bing recommended default search engine because that's what uh, Microsoft want you to use. And you can change this to Google and it will do away with the whole Bing search if you want to do away with that. That's how you can take care of that inside Edge. It also removes the icon from the search box there. That's all gone. And this one last thing is this icon on the desktop. And uh, we want to take care of that. So go into your settings panel here in personalization. And then we're going to come down to where it says background. And you want to change this from Windows Spotlight uh, to, say, background of, of your choice. And then it will remove that icon uh, from there. I will use a, a registry edit here because obviously I've not activated this version of Windows. So to remove that, I'm going to have to use this registry uh, key here to remove it. But it's the same thing. If you changed it, it would remove that from the desktop here. So now we've done that, what we need to do is one last thing is uninstall the application. You can see the Bing search has now been turned off. All of the icons have removed from the search box and it's also removed the icon from the desktop and from uh, the browser, it's been removed as well. And if you wanna remove the actual application itself, you can do by using Microsoft's own removable package uh, code to uninstall this. So if you want to uninstall, you can see they're not allowing you to do it here, but they do give you the actual codes on their website and you can use that to uninstall it. So go into PowerShell and all you need to do here is say yes to the user account control and use this code right here. Get dash uh, app package space star bing star and then space pipe remove dash app package and it will remove that from the computer and that's basically how you can uninstall it why they don't give you the uninstaller simply in here you know microsoft they like to make things difficult for you but that is the official way of uninstalling it using microsoft's own codes that they offer and that now means your system should be bing search free and you should be free of the bing search on windows 11. anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it have a lovely weekend my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk big shout out to my youtube members i appreciate the support and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now